Okay, hi guys. This is President Yadira talking to you guys. I just wanted to explain to you guys how this Mexico vlog was going to go down. Um, it's a little different than what I expected my first Mexico vlog to be because shit got a little twisted towards the end. So what ended up happening is that me and Adrian were sharing this camera, which was already a red flag, you know? But we were sharing this camera and we were just, you know, recording little snippets of it, whatever. When we get to my grandparents' house, which is in Michoacan. I decided that I want to just record a few little things of my grandparents while they're smiling, while they're like talking to us. I just wanted to keep them as memories for myself. And and in those times, I actually just had admitted to Adrian that this is actually all my fault and yeah, it was but I had to tell him because I realized then I was like, fuck, I need to tell him the truth. What happened was that my grandparents were like cracking up, talking to us, and I wanted to capture those moments. While I'm taking those videos of them, I wanted to take a picture. So I start playing with the settings and when I do that, I for some reason can't figure out how to take a picture. But so I'm like, whatever, I'm just gonna go back to recording. When I think that I'm gonna go back to recording, I actually click the settings and that's where shit got real shit got effed up after all of that right because we all thought that it was complete the video was put on regular settings but no the video was in slow motion the entire time from the day that we got to mexico up until the day that we left neither of us decided to check because neither of us changed it you know so changed it neither of us changed it so we thought that it was on the correct setting so literally our video is in slow motion completely so when it's in slow motion i am able to still recover the footage but the audio is completely gone in regards to that i need to do a voiceover for you guys i've never done a voiceover before so i'm a little nervous but hopefully i can give you guys a really good storyline and i promise this won't happen again yeah that was that was crazy but i still wanted to upload this video for you guys and i still wanted to kind of me be able to look back at this moment when we were back in mexico and this is why we're doing a voiceover and i hope you guys enjoy it okay so now enjoy the vlog okay guys to start off we actually left from tijuana we went through a bridge that's called cbx it's from san diego into tijuana it's super easy and super affordable it's like 35 dollars, and i absolutely loved it it's so much more convenient than going all the way to mexicali like we used to we finally landed into what into guadalajara um we actually hadn't slept the whole the whole drive over there so the plane was the only time we slept that's why i looked a little crazy we were super hungry so we just stopped at a taco shop of course that's the first thing you got to do when you land in mexico we from there we headed over to michoacan to go visit our grandparents just for a day because we did have things to to do the next day my grandma and my grandpa had no idea we were going so this is my grandma's reaction to finally seeing us after almost a year she was so happy that we were there but she was like why didn't you guys tell me my grandpa was not there when we got, got there because he's literally me es un callejero, so he was not home when we got there so when he finally saw us he was so happy to see us there from there we headed over to what's called el bosque it's basically what you hear it's a forest where everybody hangs out they have drinks and everybody's just chilling there with loud music we had a few snacks and then the drinks that we were drinking there i didn't drink too much here i was trying to explain to you guys what was going on i wanted to update you guys what was going on but the damn camera failed us um i was just letting you guys know that we were on our way to go pick up my tia that had just gone off of work so we went to go pick her up so she can come with us to the bosque and just kind of have a good time we weren't there for too long to be completely honest with you guys we went over to my grandma shortly after because my grandma gets super paranoid that we're out late you know with everything going on in mexico and me fucking stuck not being able to put my seatbelt on um in this clip actually we got lost so you're gonna see where i'm over here talking shit to adrian i don't know if i left it in there but actually this is the exact footage where we got lost i'm over here trying to guide adrian to where to go to because i couldn't believe that he got lost we've been there so many okay. times we didn't get lost i was literally looking for a taco stand oh my god you're fat ass wood so we're on our way to my to get my tia and look at me <laughs> trying to guide him to where to go to <laughs> I sort of fucking got on the GPS, but um, I just wanted to let you guys know that we were on our way to pick up my tia and that uh, we were going to go back to the bosque for a few more hours. After we had left El Bosque, um, we were just chilling at my grandma's house and I was like, hey guys, is anybody hungry? And nadie me pelaba. Everyone's like, girl, just get your bottle and start drinking because we ain't eating tonight. And I was like, let's go eat. Let's go to the plaza. Like, I'm, like, I wanted to go before everything finished, you know? So we did end up going to the plaza. They had two little taco stands. The lady here that we were at, she had tacos al pastor. So I did want to give those a try. So we went ahead and we got some from both taco stands. From here, I want to say that I got like two from her. They were so freaking good. And then I had to go back to the other taco stand because they had a little bit more of a variety and from there from them i did get some like 
carne asada tacos and they had a few like little ingredients like those chiles right there sound so freaking good right now and those tortas sound are so good but i did try to behave myself in mexico and i didn't get a torta even though i wanted one so freaking bad uh, another thing that amazed me so much about this whole trip was that their daughter was actually one of the ones that was running the entire little show there and this is her right now dude she was getting down like she her spanish was so amazing of course because that's all she speaks you know but i get so impressed by hearing kids in mexico speak spanish i feel like they sound so smart like they're so sophisticated i absolutely love it um the next day this is the next day here in michoacan I went ahead and I made a coffee. My grandma was insisting that I drink coffee and she told me to warm up some milk, but I didn't want to grab too much of their milk, you know, because in Mexico they get a little bit. You guys see the little bag that I'm using there. So I literally put a little bit of milk and she was talking shit to me. She was like, put more milk, put more milk. And I was like, no, no, be fine. Tell me why it was like not even three ounces of how much I was getting. So I literally had to keep putting more and more milk and she was talking shit and she was like, I don't know why you don't get more. So yeah, she made us breakfast and we ate breakfast with her. She's so freaking sweet. She's literally those grandmas that does not let you leave if you did not eat but um but yeah i had a little bit of coffee there it was so freaking good i was trying to show you guys what my grandma made us to eat but of course audio went out she made us some eggs with tomatoes and of course los frijoles que nunca van a faltar and some homemade tortillas they were so freaking good we actually headed back to jalisco we were running a little late because my brother took forever to pick us up so this was the hotel that we stayed in i wanted to show you guys the outfit and i wanted to tell you guys that i bought it about three years ago so that's why it fits me so tight you know the loose fit was not the style back then Really after that we actually headed over to eat some tacos and yes guys we ate tacos the entire trip because you know what's there better to eat there um so we ate some tacos and i got some asada and the lengua because i do like lengua i know that some people are like girl what and in this video i am actually trying to show adrian what the lengua looks like because uh, yeah i'm sorry if you don't like that but it's a little bit gross they kind of cut it like in a weird way like i've ate lingua before but they usually chop it up small but i still fucking ate it and it was still really freaking good you know we had to hook up our tacos and put some salsas on there and i was so excited because they had chiles hueros there and i love chiles hueros it was so spicy but the taste was there so it was all worth it it was all worth it guys um we put literally all the salsas that we found in there we put them on our tacos we headed back to our seats for a surprise, guys. They accidentally gave us the wrong drink, which was an horchata de fresa. And oh my god, it was so freaking good. I had actually never tried it, and I totally leave this shit here because I am drinking it. I just want to show you guys one last clip of these tacos because I am craving them. So ahora tenemos antojo las dos. Okay, from there we headed back to the hotel to get ready. Um, I was trying to give you guys a whole story time about how we're running super late and everything. But, you know, the audio is out. So I'm going to have to tell you guys that we're just running late and I'm trying to hurry up. Usually before doing my makeup, I do like to wash my face really quick because I feel like it applies my makeup a lot better. I also wanted to let you guys know that look at the little bit of liquid I was taking with me to the trip. We were only there for a weekend, so it literally it was perfect and it was more than enough but i ended up doing that just because i would always take i would always fill up those little those little cups and i would never finish it up and i would just have a lot of product to go to waste. i decided to start curling my hair first before doing makeup because those front pieces that you guys see there those always fall fast so i was like i'm just gonna have them sit here for a little bit so i curled all the front of my hair first and then from there i went on to do my makeup i wanted it to do a very subtle beautiful like brownish makeup so i knew that taking lulu's palette was probably the best idea i could have taken because it's so compact packed and now the colors were so beautiful i'm trying to show you guys my makeup but look at this lighting like who the fuck let me it was so bad lighting in that hotel was so bad so i had to make it work i brought i did my eyebrows super super fast and now i put on some whitening strips i usually like to do this every time we go to an event because it just kind of makes my teeth look a little bit more pearly and it just kind of helps out the whole situation i curled my entire hair super freaking fast it was super loose curls because like i said we don't have too much time there i wanted to show you guys my ootd which was a dress that i got at windsor it was super last minute but i loved it i feel like it snatches you so good so the dress was actually from windsor the heels were from steve madden and the earrings were from h&m we were on our way to the wedding and of course the guys wanted a drink so they had me making them drinks on the way to the wedding it was literally like five minutes away but they still wanted their drinks um this is a clip of me trying to take my drink and look at how nasty that drink is <laughs> my face says it all my heels kept getting stuck on the on the ground because it was all dirt you know so i was so afraid my time is the wedding gonna be all dirt or is it gonna be indoors you know because right there we couldn't see how beautiful this wedding this venue was i was obsessed i just couldn't believe i had never been to a wedding with such a beautiful venue to be completely 
being honest with you guys and i was just obsessed everything was so beautiful it literally was giving me tulum vibes in jalisco we were bonding with my niece and i this clip is so funny to me because i'm over here bonding with the baby my brother's in the background trying to get someone to get fucked up with him and things got a little funny here because my brother as you saw he pushed the billion underneath the bottle that we had no idea was there so basically if you ever been to a club you see them turn on these lights at the bottom of the bottle and we've never seen that before we always thought that at the club they would put those little lights in there and we were shook because we had already had that bottle for about two hours and we never knew that there was a light underneath that bottle like i mentioned before this wedding was so beautiful like look at this just every every detail that they did in this wedding was so nice it started to get super windy at the wedding so i had to check the weather i was like why is it so cold here and girl it was 55 degrees and guys my brother caught me i was not drinking at that point i had to just put water in my little water bottle so he tried to find me a cup which he did that had alcohol and oh my god it had so much i think it was just tequila there was no water in there so he put it in my in my little basically baby on and it's so funny because literally two seconds after arguing we started bonding over the carol g song <laughs> Wedding or a party in Mexico? Because I've always wanted one of these. If you're wondering how you're hearing this audio, it's because this footage is actually from my phone. So now it's going to be a regular vlog and enjoy the party. Having a good time out there. 